What's going on everyone? Welcome to today's video. I am so excited about this video today because it is my Los Angeles apartment tour. I just moved in to this place with my boyfriend Brian and I honestly feel like it's, it feels like home. It's like so homey and I just love it here. And I feel like it's the first time I truly felt like it was my place because in the previous places I've lived in in the last like five or six years, I have moved once every year for the last six years. And every single place just felt like a transitional place and not like a home like this place feels. And I'm just so excited to show it to you guys and share with you guys about like what we got and like we had to furnish this entire place except for the bedroom furniture. Literally everything is like new. So I'm gonna show you guys what everything is, where it came from, what it looks like, why we picked it and all that. So come on in. Guys, welcome. We are going to start right here. So, if you see here, we got a new kitchen table, I believe. The table is from Living Spaces. What's really cool about it is that it does this. Yes, I know. It's like, pass me the camera lens, babe. Okay. <laughs> and there's a little spot right in there to put stuff under if we decide we want to. Brian had these already in his old place. If you guys watch those videos, you recognize them. There is lights up here that light up like that. It lights it, it's dope. There's this really awkward corner in our place. And if you saw my Instagram stories, if you saw that, you'd know that like we used it for trash when we first got here and we got stuff. But now we have this. I'm going to insert me opening it right here. <laughs> rip the box off of it. <laughs> ah! Expanding. This is the biggest beanbag. <laughs> so it came with this hole in it, which is cool. So yeah, now we have this thing and it's way bigger than we anticipated. <laughs> I ordered it, we were both like really excited about this massive bean bag and we were gonna put it in the living room. But once we got here and it came here and it expanded like you saw, we were just like, eh. <laughs> Like it's cool, but eh, it doesn't like fit in the room at all. And like, it just is a big blob of like ugly. It's cool but I feel like it just doesn't like fit with the vibe of the place. So we're just gonna leave it in the awkward corner for now. I feel like that's a good spot for it until we get a puppy. Yeah. And if you go immediately to your right, we have the kitchen here. This is like the ugly yellow light, but it's a yellow light. Every house has that. So we have the kitchen. There's counter space right here. Let me, counter space here, washer dryer. I mean, washer dryer. Dishwasher, sink, key science, supplement stack. All of the supplements, all of the supplements. <laughs> These are like the main ones that we use. Pea science snickerdoodle, peanut butter cup, Nana Berry Ergonine is like the best. Norcadrine is also the best. It's like my favorite happy pill in the world. Amino IV Strawberry Breeze is the absolute best. We have a food scale here. This one is from, a few of you guys have asked me, this one's from Vanity Planet. Um, a few coffee mugs that like we display because they're my favorite. This one's my absolute favorite. I got this at FitCon in London and I'm like obsessed with it. I think I'm gonna make these guys. So if you guys are interested, give the video a thumbs up. One does not simply start the day without coffee and Pucci radio, which I absolutely love. I got this my first weekend in DC when I met Brian. It was like a Washington DC souvenir. <laughs> I believe this is Karen's. I think I stole it from her by accident. I didn't mean to Karen, sorry. This one is coffee makes everything better. And this one has an A on it. Right here we have an elephant. I'm gonna link where I got this elephant from cause it's super cute. Um, an elephant with 19 crimes wine. And this is like my favorite wine. Don't drink wine that often, but it's my favorite kind if you guys are interested in that. My Nespresso machine. This is my baby guys. This is my baby. This, 
is my baby. I love it. It's like my favorite thing in the world. It has a drawer for all the pods. And you put a pod in here and then like coffee comes out and it's just freaking the best tasting coffee if you have not had it. This is a milk frother. Also came with an espresso machine, got it on Amazon. Link will be in the description box. This is like our sweeteners and spices and stuff cabinet. We have here the fridge. There's not much decorative stuff on it. We do have this that Emily got Brian for Secret Santa. It's our first <laughs> date together. We were ice skating and it's like the best day. Karen got me this from Key West as a souvenir to remember her. <laughs> she just went there. Freezer, I don't think there's much in here except for some frozen fruit. Halo top, frozen fruit, bite meals, cookies, more bite meals, cookies, bite meals, meals, frozen veggies. There's usually more frozen veggies in here also have the fridge so we have like some condiments fresh basil we have some yogurt almond milk hot sauce salsa sugar-free syrup more bite meals in the bottom some apples back there egg whites some peppers diet ginger ale is our favorite ever some spinach spring mix eggs more bite meals lettuce guacamole more bite meals and we also have like food in here well, cereal really. Um, and that's about it for the kitchen. One more thing I wanted to show you guys in the kitchen are these chairs. I believe they're from Ashley Furniture. Put the link in the description box for all of the furniture for you guys. Had to get a fake plant. Looks pretty awkward right here, but needed a fake plant like really badly. So this is from Ikea. Also have this mirror that we want to hang right up here because that would look good right there, but we don't have a command strips yet. So like bear with us guys, we're going to head into the bedroom. And before we head into the bedroom, I'm going to play the clip of when I actually got my new bed because I got a new mattress and I want to show you guys. So roll that clip right now. This house tour is sponsored by LOL. I just want to thank them really quickly because they sent us a new mattress and I'm super excited. This is from LOL and we're going to put the mattress on the bed. I'll give you guys a house tour of the rest of the house after I do this, but this is important. Can I stand on the box spring? Yeah. Of course. No? Maybe. It's a bed. You can stand on it. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Oh, I think this doesn't go on the bed. This. Oh, yeah. Their logo is a little dog. How freaking cute is that? Directions are easy. Very graceful. <laughs> mattress this way right gently cut the inner plastic with scissors take care to not snip the cover okay. we have scissors in the kitchen so the movers we had for our move today this is like only part of the video because we're actually filming the whole rest of the house tour video on another day because it's a disaster right now but yeah, the movers we had today were actually videographers. They're from Russia and they were hysterical. Might work with them in the future. They bet Brian and I that if they had better videos than us, then they would, then if we had better videos than them, then they would pay for our entire move. But those were really good. <laughs> Did you ask what they used to edit and everything? Uh, no, but like, we do vlogs. Like, yeah. Not, not anything fucking fancy, you know? True. I am like the least graceful person in the world. And here is the official finished product of the bed. So I already had this bed set up in my other place, if you guys remember from my other place, but we just got the new mattress and I absolutely love it. We also got these new, this is like, we got one extra to match that. I believe these are from Ashley Furniture as well. They'll be linked. Got this cool lamp from Ikea because this room has no lighting up top. So we have to have supplemental lighting so we're gonna head into the closet bear with me guys i don't have everything unpacked <laughs> there's this like extra shelving unit which is great i had these boxes prior i have two rows of clothes which is like amazing but i still have that extra box over there some shoes some more shoes and yeah this is one of our walk-in closets you might be wondering where's brian's stuff it is close, close. in this closet because there's two 
and this is like the best feature of the whole entire place. I love the fact that we have two walk-in closets. It honestly just makes life so much better and I've never had a walk-in closet in my whole entire life. So like, this is just goals for me and I'm just very excited about it. New mirror. Yes though. Seriously though, this mirror. This is like a new lens by the way. This lens is a wide angle lens and I'll put it in the description box as well for you guys, but I just got it and you can like see everything. This lens, it's awesome. This is a natural lighting. Yep. And then this is the dresser that I had for my other place as well. Now it's half Brian and half mine. He has these two and those, and I have those three and that one. Yep, there's that, that's the bedroom. This is, yep. Turn that off. Bathroom. It's quite bright. Do this. This is the bathroom. Another set of wonderful mirrors. Very excited about this. It's like so many places to take selfies. This is Brian's Yoda clock. <laughs> and this is my side over here. Um, we have our scale here, but we haven't taken it taken out of the box yet, but it's from Vanity Planet, I believe. And then just have a dark weird corner over here that like goes all the way all the way back around for the toilet so like you can just be hidden in the corner over there i usually don't turn the light on but it makes the noise when you do with the fan so kind of just keep myself in the dark and then there's the shower it's a door shower and then it closes opens big tub super nice and now we are about to enter my favorite part of the whole entire house is the living room here so if you enter the living room, this is our carpet we got on overstock.com. Love the carpet, it's white, it's scary, you can spill stuff on it. We like to take risks here. <laughs> this is the TV stand and there's, as you can see, no TV. Funny story, Brian broke the TV that he brought all the way from Washington, D.C. And what? <laughs> what do you have to say about that? He said, I'm ashamed. What? I'm just happy I got to show the TV LA. It made it and it died, but it, it made it here, so. Literally just put it in the trash, which is so sad. But we don't really watch TV, so it's fine. No, yeah, we don't need it anyways. And we kind of just realized we only have this TV sitting here because it's, it's like, like what, normal what we do. have always done. So, cool, just cool. break that mold. Break the mold. It's a plant instead. A fake one that I also stole from Karen, apparently. We have a little balcony out here. It's not very large, but it's like enough. Coffee table, one of my other favorite things. Coffee tables from Ashley? We'll put it in the description box. It's from Ashley Furniture, I think. Funniest thing ever, Brian has these like, this is, let me show you what these are. <laughs> this is a coaster for cups and stuff, but there are people's faces which I find hysterical. So this is the coffee table and one of the coolest things that it does is, let me see if I can do this with one hand. I can, ooh, strong, yes. Comes up so you can like work. This is Brian's computer, but you can work and it's like, you can put stuff under there and then it can go back to normal at when you're <laughs> done, <laughs> it's fine. So this is Brian's guitar. He has yet to play any guitar since he's been here, but he says he will do it tonight apparently excited about that because that's sexy as fuck. And then this is our new lamp from, where is it from? Ikea. It's just a basic lamp, but again, this does not have any lighting up top. So when it gets dark, we literally had nothing because there's so much natural light coming in here. One of my favorite things about this living room is that there's so much natural light and there's a massive door, window, and vaulted ceilings. Like, how amazing I die. Makes it feel so much bigger, like, let me go all the way back here. Looks so, whoa, <laughs> just ran into the door. I ran into that wall. It looks so big from here and then you like walk in and there's a big ceiling and big window and it's so bright and pretty. So here's like what it looks like from the living room. New couch, this is a pullout couch. So we wanted to like have a place for guests to sleep if they came to stay because we did not put the second bedroom we didn't make it a guest room, we made it an office. So this couch is from Ashley Furniture 2, I believe. Again, kind of forget where everything's from because we just ordered it stuff, but I'll let you guys know. And now we're gonna head into the last part of the house, apartment, except one second. Also a pantry in here where we keep extra stuff, extra 
extra like crap. Washer dryer, which is really nice, in-house washer dryer. And then this is the other bathroom. This is a little bit less cornered in. And then we also got this um, from Ross. It's like, I thought that this was gonna be in our main bed bathroom, but it's the guest one. So at least there's something in here. Cause aside from that, there's literally nothing in this bathroom at all, but we have an extra bathroom. Last but not least, we have the office. This is my roommate. Roommate. Roommate, what do I call you? We made the second bedroom an office. So we got these two desks. They are from... Everything's actually our living spaces. Yeah, I'll put much. it in the description box again. Um, but there's two of them. And like the cool thing about this... Oh, do you want to open? That's my monitor. Let me show you. And then you can open that up and there's like a place for plugs and stuff. So it doesn't look super messy, which is really nice. You have a place for like office stuff and then there's a gnome which is really cool. Um, we have a bunch of these canvases like we both got a lot of these like he has that one and I have this one. These two are his. We don't know where to put like if we're gonna put these up or whatever but we just like have them for now. Got this one at Ross and I would like to put it up here. We just have to get something to hold it up but we don't have that yet and like I also have my degree <laughs> that's not in the correct it's all it does not stay like i don't know why i ordered this frame off of amazon and put it in there because it doesn't fit but got this at ikea it matches that they're they're like similar extra mirror so this is our our little project okay so this is a bookshelf I'm gonna give you some book recommendations in a minute but this bookshelf is actually supposed to be this and then it's like a two more, like it's supposed to be like this tall, but they didn't send us two of the pieces that I need to go on the next thing. I built this thing. They need to send us new, new pieces to put it all together, but it looks pretty cool like by itself still, but it's gonna go up to like the top of the wall basically. Just put some like, smart look. how smart. This is like, we're smart and accomplished. We have, <laughs> ta-da, like we, we read every single one of these front to back and like we won stuff. I have like my YouTube thing there, bikini competition stuff. Brian's family's over here. I have a family and a broken bowl. It's broken? The ear keeps falling off. Oh, I was like, it wasn't broken when I put it on here. This is your clock too. Yes. And this is your thing, hold on. I bought myself a trophy. <laughs> Ta-da! Do you want to film me for the re reading the book recommendations? I do. Thanks. Down here, so. I brought this angles or this lens is awesome. Isn't it great? I brought this many books, and that's like it. And then Brian brought all these <laughs> and these other ones. So I'm gonna stick to like here and then maybe like one or two that I've read in here, but he's gonna cover like the rest on his channel at some point, right? If you guys haven't read this, I've talked about my friend Daniel's book before, Daniel D. Piazza, Rich 20 something. Ditch your average day job, start an epic business, and score the life you want. I don't think either of us have, I have one non-self-help book and non-business book, but they're mostly all self-help book. John Maxwell, 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership. Very good, I'm not fully through this one yet. This is Brian's dad's book, and you have like, oh, you have like six of these. I do. <laughs> I read fan. this. I read this one. Brian's dad has books as well, which is awesome. And I read this, it's wonderful. This one fell out. I have not read this yet, but the cover is cool. This is a book called The Google Checklist. If you like are interested in marketing at all, my web developers created this and it's like the, like Google backs this book for like everything that you need for marketing purposes. So check that one out. A Tim Ferriss book that I haven't read yet. A Tony Robbins book that I haven't read yet. Code of the Extraordinary Mind by Vishen Lakhiani is a great book as well. I need to read that one. It's really good. Is it? Yeah, I really liked it. I really liked it. It's about breaking through the societal norms and like challenging, like how we thought we needed to have a TV because right. most people do, but we were like, four hour work week. I read this on audio, but you need to get it. Tim Ferriss, the four hour work week, you should get it with the book, like the actual book, because there's like tools in here that you can use. And I wish I had the actual book, but now we do. That you can write things down. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and stop there. You can cover the rest. 
and that's gonna be it for the apartment tour like the video if you enjoyed the apartment tour check out all the furniture in the description box and I just wanted to say thank you again to lull beds for giving us that mattress it's awesome again you guys can get $50 off of yours in the description box with the link if you guys are interested in getting a new mattress that I highly recommend I love it do you like it I love it. You love it? I love it. It's a good mattress. I do. It's great. Yeah. It doesn't even need a mattress topper. No, I don't think we need one. Yeah, same. Okay, thank you guys for watching the video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Great. I think it's a great yeah. thing for the awkward corner. We like Perfect. The time up. We have the awkward corner and the awkwardly big bean. <laughs> it's so lumpy. <laughs> it's it's so not smooth. <laughs> it's very fucking lumpy. <laughs> These are going to be the bloopers. The lump corner. A lump over there. <laughs> if you want a lump, go in the corner. <laughs> the lump. <laughs> Bye.